Coach O'Shea, Rick from uh, Radio Canada, CBC French in Manitoba. How are you doing, Rick? <laughs> Good. Um, my first question for you, Mike, is what would you like to say to the fans back in Winnipeg? Yeah, the same thing we say every game, win or lose, their support is phenomenal. Our players know it. They don't take it for granted. We wish this outcome would have been different for them. Thank you, Mike. Um, hi, Mike. Um, do you feel this is a wasted opportunity for your team, considering the way you, you've played around the, the past years? Yeah, it might be a little early to think that way. I mean, it's still pretty raw. I mean, you know, anytime you don't win your last game, um, there's a tendency to view it as failure. And I don't, I don't know about that, you know. Um, it was a hell of a ride this year, quite a different season, and um, we just didn't play our best football at the end. And would you have liked to see a little bit more Brady uh, Oliver involved in this game? Uh, we're, we're always of the mindset that whatever it's going to take, um, and we pivot based on what the defense is choosing to to do. So um, I think that would be short-sighted to say that, you know, obviously we want Brady to have a great game and, you know, lead us to victory. But sometimes defenses have a say in it too. Thank you. Hi, Mike. Um, can you talk to me a little bit about the defense tonight? Obviously, there was a couple big moments, especially from Willie Jefferson. But you know, last little bit of the uh, fourth quarter, things took a bit of a turn. Can you just tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, they got a short field, and we end up getting a couple guys nicked up, and there's some substitution stuff too, right? I mean, it's it's tough. But you talk about Willie. Yeah, he, I don't know what his numbers were, but he probably had two sacks, forced a fumble, we didn't get on it, uh, had an interception right when we needed it after kind of a letdown on a on a blocked punt that we didn't get. Uh, he picks the next ball off or a couple plays later, you know. So he, he always shows up. Um, he's always available. And he's, he's, a, he's an amazing leader for us too. So um, loved his game tonight. Uh, Mike Andrew Patterson, Winnipeg Sports Talk. The team seemed very uh, professional, prepared, confident all week. Um, was there a disconnect from uh, the actual level of execution that you expected today? No, I don't think so. Um, you know, I think everybody wants to make more plays. Um, you know, it was a tight game. I don't know what time in the fourth, but... Um, you know, when Willie gets that interception, we get a field goal off of that. I think we're down four, right? So, and then just couldn't couldn't make it work after that. Uh, I guess part of that, um, you know, still a close game going into the fourth quarter. Zach gets hurt, goes to the room, comes back. Uh, what can you tell us about how you were seeing that? And was there any question that he was going to go back into the game? Well, if it was a regular season game, he wouldn't have went back in. You know, he just... Uh, it was a hand injury. He, he really had a extremely hard time gripping the ball. He put a glove on it and on his hand, and he would never. That's not something he would normally do. He still couldn't get a a real good handle on the ball and and um, pass the way he is used to passing. So we put him in a very tough spot, um, which he would demand to be put in. Um, and you know that's not that's not all of it for sure. I mean. Go ahead. Uh, Mike, I was just wondering, um, on Zach's injury, how much do you think that impacted what you and your team were trying to do down the stretch of uh, this game here at the end? Yeah, I think it was very difficult for him to have the, the control on the ball that he would normally have. Coach? Um, when you get to the stage, this, this, a game like this, and you, you come on, short, on, on the short end of the stick, how hard is it to not fixate on those small moments in the game where it could have gone a different way and changed the outcome? Oh, it's, it's not hard. I mean, every football game comes down to a plus or minus of a few plays. Um, you know, so, but it's never the one play, 
right? It's it's a you know it's a ratio of plays, right? So they made a lot of plays tonight, and we didn't make as many. But it's I, just, I don't I don't fixate on any one play. And where did you feel the game like shifted for you guys tonight? Yeah, I think it was a, it was a tight game. I, I don't know the exact moment, but. I mean, it was a tight game. I thought we had some opportunities, and um, and they had some opportunities too. And this is where we ended up. I mean, no one's, you know, when you lose, you're always going to want some plays back. Last question, Jim. Mike, I, I know the emotions are still pretty raw, but does this sting any more than the last two years? Is it worse? Uh, they all have their space to be terrible. You want to define how terrible this one is, or they're just bad? Yeah, it, it'll keep building and building to a point where it's awful. Coach, thank you for your time.